So I want you look the people in the tri state and all over the world where I really I, I, I get a look yeah. and I input, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's great to be here and this is our next platform to express how we feel about everything that is happening around us. True. Yeah, because general knowledge we deal with, you know. Yeah. So we have to be aware of our surroundings and whatever occur. Yeah. The musical journey starts at St. Thomas. Yeah. It starts in our church. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Well, church is a big influence on a lot of Jamaicans because if we are aware that the most churches per square miles is yeah. Jamaica. You know what I mean? And one folk song will say, All my Sunday best clothes in a cursing pan. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That, that, is, that signifies, say, yeah, our Sunday clothes was our best clothes. Yeah. And that was an influence where force we forgot church to, you know, because if you don't get to wear that pants or that dress or that shoes during the week, you know it's a Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> I say about clean. Church, <laughs> watch ya. Yeah. Go and wear that pants. The music really start in our church over there, Sunday school, and we are sing, Jesus love me, this I know, and the whole Them energy, Sunday. you know? Yeah. And then the whole recitation where you have to go up and recite and church concert, penny concert and you know the influence of people that tell us the device unique and the whole thing you know. Sure. Let's really bring that serious thought to it. Yo, I want to do this. Find a sound name, Black Star, I know I start par with now and me use the selecting thing to bring me to the next level ah. where I'll go to studio and dubs are cutting now and you can't get to see artists, a DJ in the studio with headphone and thing yeah. where you get that experience as opposed to just standing around the sound with a microphone in your hand. Sure. After a while, when I learned the whole thing now from a virgin named Barefoot Man, which was one of the elder singers in a center mass now, I learned how to hitchhike and how to get around Kingston and thing. I start go by my, myself now. Trying to get a bus, doing a mm -hmm. lot of auditions, trying to get a bus. Yeah, the big break came around now when Steely came from England, hanging out at Arrows, yeah. playing football. Thought I wasn't a good ball, and I tell him, say, I know ball, I come to play, you know, my general. <laughs> my music thing. <laughs> my music yeah. we there about, you know. Yeah. So we now ramp with this, you know. And I say, yo, sing a song, man. And I say, all right, I bust a one thing. Mankind ain't no easy. Yo. Rinse and shut, then time they yes. have to beat your chest to make the... Yeah. So, yeah. Rinse and shut in head, no need to ball, no need, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to say, yo, that singer is bad, man. I bet you only one way he can sing. One tune you have to in a youth. Mm. I say, you're a joker, man. <laughs> Tradition. Go, you're not the bongo, congo, woolly. And I'm going to say, that boy, I can't sing. Come up on my place. My thing kind of different, you know, because when we get the break, it was about 95 December. But we yeah. never touch out so till about a year after. Yeah. Remember the first show me do was in um, Boston, Massachusetts. So when we reach New York now, Q Club are the place, you know, general yeah, degree Club, and yeah. the whole away there and me I learned some enough to sing. Me I say for what? And me there. All me have to do is just walk my mouth and sing, you know. Yeah. And the world is mine. Real thing. Me I learned some enough to sing car. Management so I never sing. Reason why I don't know, so I never get to sing. Ever since, I don't think I really get a chance in a tri state to really expose myself either. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? Up until now. Up until now. Yeah. Remember though, Westchester Fest, never get a chance to express. Yeah. Remember though, um, Irish Jam. It was a good festival. I got about 20 minutes. Yeah. That was good. You know what I mean? Yeah, Irish Jam. Yeah, I can't remember that. And then yeah. we do SOB and some little spots, you know? Yeah. But for really get a platform that like an Amazuro platform. I mean, you do that for myself, yeah. Bushman and Friends. You know? Sure. A tribute to Peter Tosh. I mean, really promote that for you myself. Put that together. Put that together for myself. Come and tell myself, say, yo. I do it for myself if no one uh, recognize and deal with it. You know, yeah. some of us. That are one of my first and only performance in Amazon. Sure. Mm -hmm. For real, man.
2004 was my last official project. We'll go out there to my fans and the supporters of reggae music. Yeah, what was that? Signs. Signs. Oh, with, okay. With downtown. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And just shine his light out for me. All of them tuned there. But downtown is a big tune. Downtown. The last time I checked downtown, it was over a million views, you know. Downtown, a big tune. This, the videos. Can you have a video for it, official yeah. video? Yeah. No, a video for downtown. So, a big tune. Downtown, a big tune. Lighthouse, yeah, a big tune. Yeah. And, you know, some local issues with I is like you rather say, chop. Leave yeah. that alone. So, one of the things is, we have some disagreements, myself and some other ones in the music business, third party people, yeah. you know what I mean? And Them weird, it's yeah. like, when we have disagreements, we just retract and just say, all right, here are you are now. You do you. So, yeah. I sit down now and I put the company Burning Bushes Music together. Yeah. You know, we have a little studio and we start get some nice musicians. Well, I started a project with my band, Grassroots Band. Yeah. You know? And the band member them they start scatter out, you know? Because of some real good musicians. For a while we have whole heap of challenges. You know what I mean? Forget this album out and we decide say last year. Yeah. At the year. Well I forget to talk because last year was the 13th year now. Mm. Where Bushman no put out nothing mm. officially. Yeah. I did Bushman Sings the Bush Doctor, which was a tribute to Peter Tash. Tash. Yeah. Yeah. 2011. Well, them two albums there behind. Signs, Bushman Sings the Bush Doctor. I think those albums were shelved. You know? Downtown and Lighthouse are two shooting songs before. Yeah. An album was even, or an album was even put together, or even signed to be dealt with with a third party. Light it up, burn it up, any time. Next big it's tune that. Yeah. And we don't get the next hit tune because hit tunes are what you make it, you know. Yeah. Every tune is a hit tune. Yeah. It's how, you, it's how you promote and get it out there to the people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there are a lot of tunes out there where you don't hear and you never like it at first. But constantly you're hearing it. Mm -hmm. You find yourself start singing. Yeah, man, I show that. You know it's what I mean? Fact, so how the, the tune be yeah. marketed, marketed, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's them thing there. Yeah. You know, so we got some burning bushes music. We got some um, conquering lion. And for la from last year till now, independently, Bushman I do this for my own. Every salute is a platform when I tell myself now, say, this is yeah. the platform I use now. Yeah, Forget. Rebel Salute. Yeah, because 2015 I did Rebel Salute and I wasn't called back for Rebel Salute 2016. Yeah. So on my way from Africa in 2017, I saw some blogs with Queen Africa's album Climb to be um, released and they were doing an album release party. So I link up Ryan, link up Tony and I show them say, yeah man, I'm in New York, so I love for past show. Yeah. And really see where I go on in I think show my face and True. You know? Yeah. I must say, yeah, Bushman, come through man and walk with two tracks. So I sing three tune and everybody get excited. And then decide, say, yeah, we want Bushman forever salute for 2017. Yeah. Boom. 2017 we do it. 2018. Yeah. Them call me forward and I say, yeah man, how you mean our platform this? Yeah. Boom. So, 2018, them call me again, say so 2019, you know? Yeah. But one of the things is that, for me, <clears throat> if you give me 10 minutes or 5 minutes, when me go out there for work, if I even want somebody out there, I'm going to work like it's 100 person out there. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Or 150 or 100,000 people out there. So no matter what time you give me, I'm ready. So, you know, it's just that I learned that I was working 7 o'clock. Oh, 7 o'clock was the time, officially? In the morning. Officially. Oh, in the morning? In the morning. Okay. Officially. Yeah. So, me there, there from 4 o'clock. But me, I say to myself, say, Wah. a man like me where 
for 13 years, we put out nothing major. We put out an album last year and we work on it and things. When I do 7 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> yeah. But I say, if it's Jah will, let it be done. Because we know Jah will give you more than what we can bear. And I know, in my heavens, my kind of music when I sing, I always live in other people, them head. And in them, you know what I mean? So, it resonates. Yeah. yeah. So by 7 o'clock now, I did and management, did and my phone start blow. Because I deal with my fans them ardently, you know. Yeah, true. So by this now, my IG start blow. And my look at yeah. thing them start blow. My little 100 and 200 and 300 people them. When I have on my IG and things yeah. start blow up. And I say, singer, 7 oh, o'clock, so what yeah. go on? Who have me them look at WhatsApp? I say, singer, what go on? My time, I have to just rest the phone this time. I say, yeah. <laughs> So me I say management, tag, management, move. Cause me I say by even 10 to 7, we should have even uh, I, I get a heads up, say, yo, our time. So when management tag, we learn, say, it now gonna be 7. Mm. And we I get a lineup of artists, about 7 artists before even me perform. With the likes of Jackie or and Bounty Killer and yeah. Mr. Vegas and Phantom, Mojo and... Yeah. Basically, me did it, but... This is not about Rebel Salute, you know, but this is about how us as black people are dealing with reggae. And we need to get more serious about our music and how we deal with it. You know what I mean? And if we now learn a bigger commotions that go happen, than even what happened at Rebel Salute, because if man never militant would end up a grab off a mic. Yeah. But if one can rewind the tape and notice, even when I up on stage and I sing and Jack Hero come up on the stage. The two away and pan the pan with one another shoulder and me sing and pass my mic to him. Yeah. The band change was so fast, you know, even know said Jack your band. Go on, play a three song right. and come off of my band, go back on. And we will play one more song now and yes, we can't play our one song. Yeah. Over a period of time we said we see overbooked shows. Oh, that's it, that's it. You think that is it, really? Then, then the amount of artists with the pan yeah. and I just rebel salute. Yeah, happen all the time. Car. Even in my heavens now, to the, to the energy we build at a Capitan sent me where I come from. And one night is a joke thing. A singer night and a DJ night. Me would have proposed that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you see what happened with Sizzler and Norris Man, Norris Man. years yeah. ago. Years, yeah. You see what happened with Taurus Riley and Tony B. Yeah. You dig what I say? The, I don't know, Ganda, you know, these are things where people can go back on YouTube, go check, you know, and when we attack, we don't really mean, I impose nothing for, no. for bringing you know, animosity, you know, so we don't want nobody to dry it out of context neither, you know. True. You know what I mean? But we just have to nurture our music because Ratatam can keep eight days worth of festival without no animosity. Yeah. And this is in Spain. This festival used to be in Italy. And the Italian yeah. government claimed to, it had promote too much ganja smoking. So okay, it was yeah, moved yeah. to Spain. Yeah. You dig what I say? The production of our music, we can't get it better. We should and can keep a show in Amazon and went and look on the after product of filming and audio. We can bring it to the world and it sound clean and up there. Yeah. And everybody get them proper rehearsal and do them thing right. Like when Ariana Depp on stage or Alicia Keys or... Yeah. You know what I mean? One of them. them production, the proper. I ah, like Ray. We can do it too. Remember, you know, your stage has to under proper security also, you know. Mm. Yes, Secu your, your security has to right. Like that security, a, security. That's a part of production. Who come okay. on stage and okay. who for armband and get checked. People not supposed to can walk, walk come up on stage. stage. Yeah. Without the proper armband and thing. Not saying that happened at Rebel Salute yeah. and thing. But me just I said, them things are have to tight. So. Yeah. If you're the tour in a, in a, in a Europe, you know, and you're supposed to work 1.30 on a festival, you know, and you're not there 1.30, you know, chances are, you know, you're, yeah. you're in a breach of a contract. Yeah. And chances are you have to return back some of the money, money. to them. Yeah. That's all about conquering land and the CD yeah. is out. Definitely, and yeah. Every digital platform, I would like people to go out and get the CD. First song release was How You're Living with a yeah. video. 
We also released a video on the 1st of February called Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Yes. I'll take a look at it, man. Nice, mm. nice and thing. And, um, you know, we get a chance to shoot some international shots because most are mostly local videos we do. Yeah. So we get a chance to go into Prospect Park and shoot some nice man-made falls where they will look nice, them falling they will get on. Yeah. You know, we able to shoot some things in a camera. See, two Rasta man do the work. Do the work. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the video was more like a low budget video, so. Yeah. You know? But it, it, it worked. It worked, man. It worked. Song somewhere, you know, where the inspiration comes. What's the inspiration behind it? Well, it's a, it's a thing where from Africa to Jamaica, to like the first time to Africa, yeah. I remember the first time I blessed Africa was a place called Ivory Coast. Mm. You know, and Africa beautiful, you know, but everything there, Africa, just like all everything there, America, yeah. good, bad, and indifference, you know. But within inspiration to the way we are Akka's people right now, it's like, come here, Ruben, you know. I may have a vision, you know. I may have force it like eh, we now pay attention to the youths, we are the root. And we are create a generation of vipers, brethren. The bigger heads is a generation gap there between the bigger heads and the younger youths. Mm -hmm. You see me? And when you make the statement, you know, see it and it go viral and like a teacher reach out to her and I say, yo, you know I want to come out of school. Yeah. Come speak to the youth, them and sing some song. In Jamaica? Yeah. yeah. And the teacher called me back and showed me, say, youth, me I'll cancel it. Why? Because when me announce, say, yeah, yeah come, come talk to the youth, them. And where? The youth, them start boo and start get away. Yeah. So, them now want Bushman come at them school. The music I teach the youth, them the something music. different. And me I try to say, the public yeah. transportation and the corner shop. Yeah. And the environment where we set up where anything can be played anywhere and yeah. everybody just feel like everybody I see them size. Everybody in I see them group, see them bracket. Yeah. Hey, when you pass when a youth pass it right now and tell you good morning, you know, it's a youth that for glorify, you know. Yeah. Cause the average youth not nah, tell you mm -hmm. morning. The generation gap wide, my G. Mm -hmm. You know, see it's a somewhere is a song now where me I say. We constantly have our roles to play as parents and individuals in the earth and more time we know the wants, we know the needs, but at first it was wants, but if you don't get it in time, tomorrow it's going to become needs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that is song basically I say, and yeah. who have it all and who have the angle, behave like them don't care. Sometimes I wonder if this place called university teach people not to see. Because the intellects and the high class, the ones them with the high IQ and the subjects were subjected to do accordingly. And them behave like them never see. So me call it university. Hmm. You see me? Because I can teach you not to see the plight of the people who are in needs. So the song go along to say, how many more will you trick? How many more will you deceive in a world of darkness? You'll be set the blind to lead the private of our human rights and justice you impede. And I know the world is feeling grieved. Because everything we are putting in a nutshell are where we see are happening on earth. Mm. And we now make no preservation or no reservation for the youths, them. You sight. And we need forget. We need to wake up from this. Cause I come like more time I be a dead born in Ireland that are living in my lad. Like the, the youth, them lose them alpha energy. Who oh, are bleach and I drop them pants down below them waist. Yeah. I and I, as father, left the woman them alone for grow the youth. Them say, come like the youth, them lose that, that, that man energy, the bridging. And a, and a grass to it. You're right now, a gender fight, I go on. The genders don't even, 
know and aware of their agenda. The genders don't even know and aware of their agenda. So I just them think they're my lad somewhere. Real, real, somewhere real. out there. So, but there are some of the other things that Bushman, you know what I mean, he take part in. Any, mm. any other from out of music, you well, know what I mean? I know for the community, you know, so we have this yeah. thing called football in style where we give back to the community, no matter yeah. how small it football is. Football in style. Yeah. Cool. That thing where we, where we would have put sports and music together, because music is one great teacher. Yeah. You know? Fit body, fit mind. So basically, that's why we say, in style, yes. you know? But for me, you know, the vision is to use all incentives from whatever come from football in style to create a multi-purpose complex where we can have youths come and learn trades. Yeah. We don't want to know so them go through a process so when them come out on the other side, it makes them a man, he or she, yeah. you know what I say? So that that's one of my vision and I not stop until it happens, you know? True indeed. Because the youths are the roots. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if we not target the youths, then my lord, we are going to have a problem and I not stop say that. I agree. I agree, man. And this is my thing there. My music can play in every household, you know. People can go check out my music. I am one of the best singers in the world. But I know say. What I say in my music, profound. I'm serious about what I say. And you can yeah. learn from it. And you can soothe your mind. Because Bushman is this musical medicine man with medicine for all sickness. You see me? So I say, check out Conquering Lion. It is this prescription where you're supposed to fill and it's being prescribed to take three times daily in the morning when you go to work, it feels in your care. In the afternoon when you take a break. And in the night just after your yeah. little time there and you go to bed, that's supposed to put you to sleep. You see what I say? I there some music there. You see it? Rastafari. You got it locked up. CIN TV, don't Yeah man, come chat with me, you know? Come chat with me. Real man. The reason in date bush man, thanks yeah. for the opportunity, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So in going out, anything else you want to show to the audience, say me no. Anything Self. else you want to make them know. Self, you know? me not stop say this and yeah. it might sound repetitive if anyone would hear me upon the next interview, but yeah. Self, everything starts with us. Cause when you point that finger, remember, this is one, point back yeah. on you. So everything starts with we you know. Self awareness, yeah. self value, self esteem, self confidence. Now Marcus tell me, say, a man without that is twice defeated in this race of life. But with confidence, you win before you even start. So everything starts with us. That is why the song, How You Living, asks this big question. It's a calculation of life. Look where you at in life now and see if where you are, you need to make any adjustment or if you're happy where you at. Peace out. Keep it locked to CIN TV. Without Bye, man, though, Bushman. Man. Blessed love. Thank you very much, Bushman. Love the reasoning, man.